New charges in Michigan tonight where more than a dozen people are accused of trying to help Donald Trump win the 2020 presidential election. Among those charged is the former co-chair of the state Republican Party. Natalie Bompe joins us live with what they did. Natalie. 16 people ranging in age from 55 to 82 are accused of being so-called fake electors. And here's how the Michigan Attorney General says they did it. She alleges they all met secretly in the basement of the state GOP's headquarters in December. They signed their names to multiple certificates deeming them qualified electors for vice president and president of the United States. States, but they were not. Those signed documents were then transmitted to the U.S. Senate and National Archives to falsely award Michigan's electoral votes to Trump. They carried out these actions with the hope and belief that the electoral votes of Michigan's 2020 election would be awarded to the candidate of their choosing instead of the candidate that Michigan voters actually chose. The charges, which include election law and forgery felonies, have maximum possible prison sentences of up to 14 years. The defendants have been given a week to surrender on the charges. Corey.